autonomous agents being paired with large language models have become quite reputable and monumental. You can complete large sets of code, create software, deploy your own company, manage sales, and so much more. You basically have a lot of functionalities with autonomous AI agents. However, there are times when we see the generation to be quite basic and it seems that AI agents don't go far enough to create more complex generations. There is a lack of quality in a sense. This is where I would like to introduce React Agent. React Agent is a large language model agent for next generation coding, an experimental project which allows autonomous agents to use GPT-4 to generate and compose React components from user stories. It's built using React, Tailwind, yeah, TypeScript, and so many more other different plugins as well as models. This is a quite useful autonomous AI agent that can be deployed to create high quality code. You have different types of web apps being generated as well as models and so many other different ranges of generations. Now we covered so many of these autonomous AI agents that it seems like there's a new one popping out every single day. But the reason why I wanted to cover this project in particular is because of the quality of generations. Just take a look at this example. This is something that was actually generated from a single prompt where the devs turned this prompt that states as a product manager, I want to create an intuitive and informative and an analytics dashboard for our SaaS subscription platform so that our users can easily track and analyze their subscription data, enabling them to make more informed decisions and improve their business. So in this case, this single prompt was coded using the React agent and was able to output this dashboard, which is an analytics dashboard for SaaS subscription platform. Now, I don't know about you guys, but whenever I input a single prompt into any sort of autonomous AI agent, whether it's like a basic one, like AutoGPT, for example, it's not actually able to do this. The reason it's able to create this amazing dashboard is because of how it was actually developed. And this is something that we'll take a look at throughout today's video. Now, we're also going to be taking a look at exploring what React Agent is, showcasing how you can install it, emphasizing a bit on the features, and lastly, ending off with a demo. So make sure you stay tuned throughout the end of this video. But with that thought, let's get straight into it. Now guys, I haven't really showcased this as I've been just putting it in the description of my actual YouTube videos, but this is a calendar in which you can book and schedule different consulting calls with me. And this is a way for you to get some sort of knowledge or some sort of tips that I can provide to you to elevate your business, your goals, or your AI platform in general. So if you're interested in this, I'll leave this link in the description below so that you can access it fairly easily. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at React Agent, which is an open source project. Now, this is something that I wanted to cover because of its ability to generate high quality content. Now, the core be idea behind this is to develop an AI agent capable of taking user descriptions or user story and autonomously generating multiple React components that can directly be used to construct relevant web screens or content. Now this process adheres to the principles of atomic designs and utilizes key technologies such as TypeScript and the other different languages, plugins, and models. Now this is still an experimental phase and like a project, sorry, and the initial results have been quite intriguing, but the generated code showcases that it has so much potential and this is why I wanted to showcase this. They have a good video showcasing this. Uh, a couple of features that we can actually emphasize is that you're able to generate React components from user stories, compose React components from existing components, use local design systems to generate React components. You're able to reuse React, Tailwind, and other models built with atomic design uh, principles. And these are just some of the cool little features. Now let's actually take a look at the framework so we get a better idea as to how this functions. If you would like to access our private Discord in which you can get exclusive subscriptions to AI tools for free, you have networking opportunities, 
daily AI tools being released too. You have news being released too, consulting, and so much more. Definitely take a look at the Patreon link in the description below. If you guys haven't followed World of AI on Twitter, I highly recommend that you do so so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, let's get right back into the video. So with this architecture, it basically is showcasing how it generates React components from user stories. It basically involves six different steps, which are stated over here. It's designed to basically simplify the deployment of transferring user stories into working React components. So it's basically saving time and it's going to basically simplify the breakdown with these different six steps. It first starts off with the skeleton component from the user story, which is the step one. In this case, it extracts essential information from the user story and it creates like a basic structure for the components. Secondly, you move on to the generating components configuration, which is going to define the component blueprints. Thirdly, you move on to generating components from configurations. It creates actual React components using the blueprint. Then you move on to generating the compose organize our uh, yeah organism sorry and this is where it embeds the actual like components into a larger complex component and it represents the entire user story you move on further to the generating compose component which is composing the actual page this is basically taking it into a broader context like a web page layout Lastly, you have the demo, which is creating an example application as it demonstrates how the component works. Now, it, it's basically, in a nutshell, a tool that automates the process of turning user stories into functional React components. And you can see this example over here, as well as this user story to code, which is demonstrating how this basically oper operates. Yeah, the feature goes to the user story, as well as the Figma design goes into a skeleton composure and then goes further into the generation of code completion and then you also have the same thing with component generation flow and these are some of the things that i'll leave a link to in the description below so that you can get a better idea as to how it basically functions and operates now let's get to the next step of the video where i showcase how you can actually install it now guys to install this i'll leave this link as well as the other links in the description below but you're going to need a couple of things you're going to need git which is an application that'll help you clone this repository so what you want to do first is copy this link uh, you want to go on to your command prompt and what you want to do is paste this over here and then click enter once you have done that uh, i believe the permissions are publicly denied for this particular link so what you can do is go back click on the green button over here copy this scroll down and what you want to do is type in git clone and click enter this will work and once it has finished cloning what you can do is go into the react agent file by typing in cd react agent click enter once you have done that you're able to set the open ai api key you can do this with the visual studio code so in this case you can go into vs code have it open up uh, you want to go open a new window so once i have this opened up i'm going to open the folder where i cloned it so i gotta find react agent wherever that is open that up once i have that open up you're able to go into the back end which it states over here change the dot example you want to rename it get rid of this and you want to then input your api key over here you're also able to input your log but in this case you just want to input your api key you're able to do this over here within vs code or you're also able to set it with the command over here next you want to go type in this command into command prompt yarn install in this case yarn is not recognized so what i'm going to do is i'm going to configure it so that it can install it so since I don't have yarn installed, I'm going to input this and actually install it. Once I have it installed, I'll be right back. Once installing yarn, you can now start running the backend script. And this is by typing this in to your command prompt, pasting it, and this will start running the back or uh, yeah, the backend. Then you want to do the exact same thing for the front end components. And now what you want to do is once you have this loaded up, you want to open the front end main uh, SRC or yeah, SRC 
gener generative uh, react agent. So in this case, you want to just continue by pressing Y. And once you have done that, you can click enter and this will start unpacking and installing the front end as well as the back end components. So you want to wait for it to install and then we can go further and read the instructions and change the example component to the component that you want generated. So as stated over here, you want to open the front end as well as the back end. Now you're able to do this with the customization. In this case, you're able to edit the workflow so that you can generate your own components. So you can do this within Visual Studio Code as well as the terminal that is over here. This is just a quite generic way to set this up, guys. I'm not going to go fully in generating a full hung thing because uh, it's just going to take too much time as you spend 10 minutes on the generation. But in this case, you can go into the back end. You, once you have inputted your API key, you should be able to run this fairly easily by going into the React agent. Once you're over here, you have different sets of components over here in which you can generate. So you have these different components that will be generated after you give the description. You can enter the description on the generation tab. You're able to find the re uh, generation, uh, I believe, component.ts, which is over here. You're able to control the flow of the generation process. So in this case, you're able to input whatever you want. You can see that they have this example where act as a front end developer. In this case, you can leave it the same. But if you want something edited or if you want to use a different type of script, you can specify that over here. Once you have done that, you're able to play around with it with the generation by rendering the application. You need to render the gen react app.tsx. And in this case, you just follow through with the examples over here. And basically, once you have run the back end, you can then go do the same for the front end. And that's basically how you're able to set this up in a quite generic and easy way. There is, there is an actual video description as to how you can do this. So if you're interested in this, definitely take a look at this. But that's basically it for the actual showcase of React Agent. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and you got some sort of value out of it. Please definitely check out the actual calendar if you want to book a consulting call. If you want to join our private Discord. Take a look at this link in the description below. Follow World of AI on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day and spread positivity. And I'll see you very shortly. Peace out, fellas.